Hola, que tal? Welcome to my Porto vlog. So, I'm gonna actually make myself a little gin and tonic, and then I'm gonna talk to you guys about why I decided to move here. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, so in this vlog, I'm just going to be talking about a little bit of a life update, some of the stuff that's, oh, I should put you, some of the stuff that's happened over the last few months, um, as well as this video is actually sponsored by BKK Hair, so I'm going to actually be showing you their hair curling tool as well while I finish off my curls, um, and then I'm going to give you an apartment tour and show you around my gorgeous Porto flat, but first of all, gin and tonic this is diet tonic because I prefer to eat my calories not drink them there we go okay now I feel like I can talk to you guys properly let me take a seat and then we can begin conversing yeah, so I'm in the beautiful city of Portugal. It was pretty last minute and random how I kind of like packed my bags and decided to move here. Um, I say move here, not permanently. Actually, you just never know with me. <laughs> I'll be here for at least the next month and just checking it out, seeing how I like it. And then you just never know. So I'm here for the next month. Um, it was really random how I decided to um, move here but i did want to just talk about like one of the last few videos i filmed um i was talking about somebody that i had met they ticked every single box i was so happy and i was just like well you just don't know what's going to happen let's see how the future goes and it's like literally the week that video came out one of you did you do for me which one of you is it that went to go and see which doctor <laughs> <laughs> but literally that week I found out that he was going to be moving back to Germany like I, I knew there was a good chance it might happen I'd known for a few weeks before then but every bone in my body had been praying to God that that wouldn't happen which is probably quite selfish because there were very good reasons why he would probably have to move back and in his shoes I would have made the same decision um, but everything pretty much got approved with his job literally like the week I released that video and within weeks he was gone and you know that was tough you know it's really hard when you feel like you find the person that you've kind of been waiting for this whole time and then circumstances out of your control mean that it doesn't work but I've had like the last month and a half to kind of just process it's not easy like I'm still processing I still have days where I really really miss him and I think what's he up to while he's there but I just feel like everything happens for a reason if it's meant to be and um, it will be you know like I ain't got a doubt that if it's meant to be it will be circumstances will figure itself out but I just wanted to put that out there because that was one of the last videos I filmed um, and then you guys are going to see me living my best life <laughs> and you're going to be thinking whoa hang on a second I thought she met someone I really did meet someone he's super great yeah we'll see how life goes um but now i'm in porto i was just in faro algarve with just with travel with me and that was a blast and now i'm here mm. Mm. camera randomly i'm going to talk to you guys about that move but first of all vkk hair were kind enough to sponsor this video they sent me um their curling tongue which is like a barrel curling so you get three different sizes with it. So this is the largest size, which is the size I'm going to be using today. But if you have shorter hair, the smaller sizes are going to be more suitable. So these actually kind of remind me of the Molly May set. And I love the fact that they are purple, cute, with like a little sparkle, a little bit of bling at the top. So you've got a small barrel, a medium barrel, and a large barrel and it just slots nice and neatly into the wand that's my first time using it um, and i will link it in the description bar below what i really like though is that it does have i wonder if it's portable charging oh i have so many questions but the charger disconnects which makes it good for like traveling you can really break it down so it's not just this one big wand and um, so i'm going to plug that in and I really like the fact that it comes with a set of gloves. 
because I'm constantly burning. Like I feel like I'm going to lose all the sensation in my hand because I'm constantly burning my hand when I'm straightening my hair. And I like the fact that it's black. It's pretty large as well. Should be fine for all. Ooh. All hand sizes. And it comes with two clips to hold the curls while they set as well. So, yes. So I can't wait to give it a try. Um, hopefully the curls come out really nice. Uh, I will link it in my description box. Because my flat, my apartment, only has two mirrors. I'm going to give you guys a tour after, by the way, so stay tuned. We've got, like, one kind of, like, full-length mirror here. I don't know why you guys say There we go. See my full outfit. Eh, hey, really cute. And then we've got another, like, bathroom mirror here. So this is probably where... I'm gonna do the curls because I definitely need to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna no. plug it all in. No, get no, my no. camera all done. No, 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 Body nice. See I got them girl, them a moving right. See the girls, them a got me hypnotized. Them a make a bad man feel alright. Yeah, yeah. Man, I tell her me she gon' love. Say you gonna get me when I'm on low. Man, I tell her me she gon' love. Bad man, I put you in a photo. I count down, she a put me on a rundown. Go down, she a give me on a loop down. Go down, anywhere you wanna go now. Bad man, me a put you on a first Just class. No, 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 I mean, if you can't tell from my face, <laughs> I absolutely love these curls. Like, oh wow. I just gave them like 10 minutes to sit before I brushed them out. And I actually didn't use um, the clips just because I've never used them before. And I actually prefer looser curls, like bouncy, loose, wavy curls. I didn't want like really tight ones. I feel like if you want tight ones, that's where you use the clips to hold the curls longer. But I just love it. Like usually when I'm curling my hair, I use my straighteners and I don't ever use a curling tong. But the difference in the volume and just how it comes out when you've got a proper curling tong, like it's honestly amazing. Like I love the barrel curls. What do you guys think? Oh my god, I need to go out. Somebody needs to see all of this. Damn. Okay, so that's the hair um, element of this video. VKK, the curlers I've used are linked in my description box. Definitely check them out. Also, my first time using a glove. And honestly, it makes such a difference. Hey! <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop playing. Let me give you guys a tour around my new apartment. So coming into the flat, we've got the dining table and it's quite a large table which I really like. This is actually like my office during the day, this is where I work from. And then to the right we've got like the living room space, it's got a double sofa which also folds down as a sofa bed, click and clack type. Haven't used it as that just yet. Small flat screen TV, not really utilised it, but it comes with like Netflix and whatnot, it's a smart TV. A little painting there, a little plant in the corner, and then I've got a little balcony that overlooks Porto, and some days when it's not too hot, I do sit out here and just have breakfast. The view itself, not the best, but I am very central in Porto, so I do like that, so lots. Lots of sunlight, darlings, eh? Yeah, it's a really hot day. The last few days here have been super rainy. 
but today looks lovely so definitely gonna try my sister's coming around later so i forget to mention that my sister's actually living here for the next three months and she was kind of the inspiration behind why i came so my sister came to the algarve faro with me for the first travel with me um trip and then she stayed on in Porto. That was always the plan. She's staying here for the next three months at least. And when I went back to England, I was like, hang on, it's not fair. Why does my sister get to stay in Portugal, sunshine, good food, and I have to come back to like winter, strict autumn in England. So I was like, nah, let me go. I found an apartment on Airbnb, booked it for the next four weeks and I am here and I just love that decision, I love the freedom. One of the reasons I actually left Barcelona, if you used to follow me when I lived in Barcelona, was because the money was so bad, like literally 50% of your salary was sunshine. <laughs> it was the good weather um, and you just don't earn anywhere near what you earn in London so I ended up leaving, moving back. But with my job now where I can work remotely, live across Europe, and still earn that good London money why would I not take advantage so yeah so that's the living room that's the balcony lots of lighting I've got a second window here towards the kitchen that goes onto another smaller balcony um, but yeah this is the kitchen space so fitted kitchen hidden storage which I like so the fridge freezer is just behind here mm. I always forget to fully close this, fully stocked up, but I need to go to the store today. Freezer up here, comes fully equipped for people that like cooking with pots and pans. As I said, I found this on Airbnb, mugs, glasses, dishes, so I have my extra food storage. It's got two hobs, which is more than enough for one or two people staying here my spices I actually brought Maggie cubes from London because flavor is a must microwave sink washing machine oven it basically has everything that I need to be happy and the second balcony door is tiny like you can't really sit out here in such a small space but it's really cute actually for taking pictures of myself on the main balcony so yeah that's really nice and I love walking and exploring the city, like... Walking and exploring is like one of my favourite things to do while I'm here. Like, I really like the architecture, really like the... Um, it reminds me it's got a lot of like Spanish and Italian like vibes, like in terms of the architecture, like I'm on Rose, I'm like, oh, this is so reminiscent of when I was in Roma, when I was in Napoli, or this is so reminiscent of my time in Barcelona, which I really like. Of course, it's got air conditioning up there, which is amazing. Um, and then from, actually, should I do like this? So I don't know if you guys can get a good view of the space. It's very, very light, very, very airy, very, very modern. And then we come through to my bathroom. So here, I like this as well. It doesn't get a lot of lighting, but it's got double walk-in showers, which are super nice. It's also got a waterfall shower as well. Um, lots of towels then. Where I get ready, mirror space, white nap. Lots of storage in there as well for my bits and bobs. Toilet, nothing special. It's very modern, which I love. Okay, then we're going to go up the stairs. And this takes us to my bedroom. So considering I have bad knees, not ideal. But I haven't fallen down them yet, so that's good. But this is my bedroom, nice large double bed. Spacious, clean, modern, neat. Gets quite a bit of lighting from that sunroof. And then you've actually got storage built in to here. So it's very open plan, opens up to the rest of the flat. Beamed high ceilings. The bed is super comfortable. Storage space is ideal. I brought quite a lot of stuff, so that's all hanged up there. And then just on top, I keep some of my everyday pieces that I like to wear out. 
and the sunroof opens up shoe storage and then just a bit of storage space for the rest of my luggage as well this is my apartment tour this is my new space this is my new vibe in porto i'm very lucky i'm very blessed i'm very fortunate you know it's down on myself as i get sometimes that like my love life it just <laughs> isn't quite working out the way i want it to i just have to like the passage today was just like in the bible and was just like focus on anything that is good positive virtuous honest true and i just thought you know i have so many of those things in my life i have like i'm the closest i've ever been with my family i've got really supportive and loving parents who can reduce the amount of pressure they are putting on me for marriage sha. daddy please had a 20 minute conversation with dad over the weekend and all it was is where's your husband da -da 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 -da, where are my grand ah please daddy you know i just want to be happy i don't want to marry anybody and end up being miserable life is just i don't know if you follow me for long enough i feel like you know that being happy leads all my decisions i'm not the kind of person that would stay in a job if i was unhappy i'm not the kind of person that would stay in a country if i was unhappy i'm not the kind of person that would stay in a relationship if i was unhappy like i'm not afraid to change i'm not afraid to move and i just need I need less pressure so I can make sure I get it right because I'm not settling. I think the one good thing about that last relationship is it really showed me that the man of my dreams is out there, somebody that can take all the primary boxes I'm looking for. Those standards are not unachievable. Thank you, Jesus. But yeah, I'm really happy. I'm blessed. I've been here now for about five days. I feel like I'm fully settled in now. And yeah, just see where this adventure takes me so in case you were not aware i'm amy of just in me we are looking good we are feeling good so i'm youtube's best kept secret i'll catch you guys later i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out vkk hair because these curls are saying what no, hey no no no